Hi guys, it's Linda here from the Smart Travelista. So I'm going to talk about how to make the most of your dollar, dollars and points or miles. Um, this is really important if you want to save money and travel on a budget. So I'm going to give you some tips on that. So how do we save money on travel? Well, there are so many ways to save money on travel. So here are my big top tips. Book the travel yourself online and don't use a travel agent. So the thing about a travel agent, travel agents are lovely. I was once a travel agent. Um, but when you go to a travel agent, you are paying for their expertise. So the total price that you pay will include that commission. Um, and also they're likely to recommend products that give them the best commission, um, which is something that is reality. So this can lead to higher costs for you, okay? Um, you might be time poor and you might want to go to a travel agent. That's okay. But just have that in mind that it actually could cost you a little bit more to use them. But when you book online, you're removing the middleman, which is the travel agent. So this saves you money. Um, what I would say about booking online, it does take more research and preparation and it'll take time if you're brand new to it but it is so worth the cost savings I can tell you and guarantee you that you're going to save money another tip book ahead and prepay for travel products and activities so when you've got um, your flights your accommodation and maybe touring if you pay for this ahead of time you're paying in your own local currency if you wait till you arrive at your location, then you could potentially be paying in that foreign currency. And in between when you left and when you're there, the foreign currency could have um, gone either up or down. So this is gonna cost you extra money. So what I always do is pay for it ahead of time. Um, Cause you know what you've paid, you know what your budget is because you've already paid for your travel arrangements. And then you know, okay, well, I've got X amount of dollars that I can allocate to do the things, say, whether it's spending money or other things that you want to do while you're overseas. So you're going to save money doing it this way. Another big one is travel in off-peak periods. So what I say by off-peak periods is very early in the morning or very late at night. I know very early in the morning is not good because you, you don't get much sleep and you've got to wake up really, really early. But one benefit is when you get on that flight that's saved you a lot of money, you can have a sleep on the plane, right? And late at night um, is also another one. So the, the flights that are more popular or the peak flights are going to be at lunchtime or around the early, at later hours in the morning or later hours in the than afternoon. So by taking these really early morning flights or really late night flights, you're going to save a lot of money. Another thing uh, to save you a lot of money is going to be travel in low or shoulder seasons. So traditionally, the lower prices are going to be in these, in these seasons. So you know in peak, so it's usually when the weather's really lovely, it's when the demand's really high and this results in prices being higher. So try to avoid these periods. Um, the lower shoulder seasons will potentially not have such good weather. So it might be a bit colder or it might be a bit more rainier, but you will save a lot of money. It's guaranteed. Another one, if you um, are into slow travel and have a lot of time when you're on your trip, which is probably not most of us because most of us have probably got a job and we've only got an allocated amount of annual leave. Um, but if, if you do have that extra time, another really good way to save money is to travel on multi-stop flights. So what happens is these flights go via a lot of different cities to get you there. Um, so they'll have a stopover and then they'll have another stopover and they might have another stopover, um, but the flights will be really cheap. And I've done this before when I've had plenty of time and it's a really good cost saving. Um, so that, yeah, that's another, another great way of saving money. 
Also, another thing to consider is the exchange rate of your travel destination. So, you know, you look at a place that you want to travel to, you might also look at their costs. So their costs might be lower. So that might be a good place for you to travel. Another thing to consider though, is you might have booked six months in advance. Keep an eye on the currency rates of that currency because there might be a rally where you're getting a real lot of uh, money for you, against your currency, against their currency. It might be worth pre-purchasing some money ahead of time. So if you do this and whatever exchange rate you, you get it at, that's technically the exchange rate. So when you travel and the currency changes, it's not going to affect you because you've already purchased the money at that better rate. Um, another thing, and I do so much of this, is use airline loyalty points or miles. This is a big one. So if you haven't joined up for your uh, frequent flyer or loyalty airline loyalty program, do it now um, and you will save so much. If you go on those flights using points, technically you haven't used any money at all. So this is a really great way to save money. Um, now, who doesn't like flying for free? Oh, I do. And that's the beauty of the points, right? I'm going to show you some quick tips on how to um, get, make the most of your airline loyalty points as well, fly for free. So it's a bit of a bonus in this video. I've, I've travelled the world using this formula. Uh, firstly, you need to decide which airline program. So what, what program or what airline are you going to fly on most? This needs to be the one that you join up to. And if you haven't joined up already, join up. Um, and once you've decided and joined that program, you actually need to understand the program and what it has to offer because this is going to help you in your strategy for building points. Research the program partners of, of that, um, that airline loyalty program and build that strategy. So think about what you need as part of your life soul or financial situation. Does this program, the loyalty program, offer partners that are going to fit nicely with your lifestyle? If they do, no brainer, grab them. Um, and also keep an eye on what the airline program is offering because this changes quite frequently. And if you haven't got, if you're not on on the ball and monitoring it, then you can miss out on program on um, you know different things that they've got on offer. So how can we earn points? There's so many ways. And some of the, these you would be doing already, but you've got the credit cards, obviously the flights, hotel accommodation, car and transport, travel insurance, touring, activities, shopping, eating out. Gosh, there's so many, so many more. And once you've built the points, you've got to think about where you want to go. So always have that in mind as part of your strategy. Do you want to be long term and say for you know a long haul overseas free flight, or do you want to use them domestically and on shorter haul flights? It's up to you what you want to do. No way is wrong. It's what suits you individually. So you want to know more about how to save money and also how to build your points. Well, I have two fantastic books on Amazon um, under the Smart Travelista series. So finding the best travel bargains and managing your budget. So this one focuses on how to um, book online and gives you the tips and tricks on how to do that to save you money and how to increase your airline loyalty points and fly for free. So if you're really wanting to focus and drill down on how to utilise and build those airline loyalty points, that would be your best book. I'll put the links in the. Uh, I'll put the links to the books below. I hope that's helped you. Hope that's been handy tips. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.